Okay, let's take a quick look at Gila Beachhead, designed by Jersey Devil Game Company in 1983, put out under their Centurion game line. The designer of the game is Neil A. Rosenberg and Milton Rosenberg, with additional design work by Stephen Patrick from the old SBI days. The box is fairly sturdy. Um, but extremely light. There's not a lot of components in it, and I dare say the box weighs more than the actual components themselves. Introduction. On July 11, 1943, the Axis forces in Sicily launched an offensive against a newly established American beachhead near the town of Gila. After crushing the Gila beachhead, the Germans planned to attack the other American beachheads at Licata and Skogliti. Licata and Scogliti, and then wheel east and destroy the British beachhead near Syracuse, thereby throwing the Allied forces into the sea. Stiff resistance by the Americans near Gila and timely artillery and naval gunfire support stopped the German tanks in the Gila Plain, driving them back with heavy losses. Gila Beachhead is a tactical, operational-level simulation of the fierce struggle for the Gila Beachhead. The cardboard playing pieces represent the actual American, German, and Italian units that participated in the battle, and the map represents the actual terrain over which the battle was fought. Each copy of the game is going to include a rule book, a map, counters, and a player aid sheet. Um, I put mine in a plastic folder sheet um, just to keep it. Uh, nice and clean but anyway this has most of the tables you're going to need on it they say somewhere in the back of the book or on the back of the book but they're actually on that sheet the game does come with just a little bit of errata not much and it mostly pertains just to the u.s uh, reinforcement schedule which was left out of the rules and there's just a couple other things uh, a couple of little points in the rules and in on the map but nothing major and that's this came in the box the actual errata sheet. Alright, first thing I'm going to look at, I guess, is the rule booklet. And let's look at the uh, contents of the game, actually. Tell you what, give you more detail of what actually is in the box. Up here under customer service, we have a complete game of Gila Beachhead. Includes the following parts. A 17 by 22 inch game map. An 8 sated, <coughs> excuse me, eight-page rules folder, one sheet of a hundred die-cut counters, one die, one game box. Um, the rules, like I said, are only eight pages in length. And two pages of that are um, designer notes, which is nice to see. Uh, it's black and white on a matte paper. Uh, it's 11, uh, what is it, eight and a half by 11 inches. Down here we have how to read the units. We have unit designation, the unit size, it's stacking, staging area, sorry, I'm trying to read through the uh, viewfinder. The unit symbol, attack strength, defense strength, movement allowance. And then we have, let's see what's on the other page. Here we have what looks like artillery. Broad strength, final protective fire strength, it's starting hex, its range and its movement. And then we have some various uh, markers, uh, different counter uh, counter symbols, and types. And then we go over things like uh, unit designation, stuff like that. Anyway, let's see here. We have the sequence of play. The structure of a game of Gila Beachhead consists of a series of 10 game turns, each of, which can, each of which consists of an Axis player turn and a U.S. player turn. And then we actually have the actual sequence up here, which is kind of hard to read at that distance, I guess. It's not going to be much better here. Um, let's see. Game turn sequence outline, the Axis player turn, with a movement phase and a combat phase, and then we have a US player turn, which also has a movement phase, a combat phase, and a reinforcement um, part to it. 
and the US player can also do naval bombardment. Then we have basic rules for movement, zones of control, I'm sure there's stacking rules. Uh, stacking, then we have combat, which has pretty much your standard which units can attack, multiple unit, multi-hex combat, terrain effects, retreats, advances, combat modifiers such as combat shifts, that type of thing. We have step reduction it looks like as part of the results. Then we have what? The US supply command restriction. Then we have rules for artillery, which I guess they can do barrage attacks, combined attacks, adjacent attack, uh, final protective fire, and then the effects of when they're being attacked on their defense. Then we have the reinforcements, which like I said, are not included in the rule book. They're actually included in the errata. Then we have naval gunfire support, and then we have some special rules such as Axis Strategic Restriction, the Gila Garrison Rule, Axis Surprise Rule, Strategic Restriction, and German-Italian Coordination, and then we have the Victory Conditions, which goes on a victory point uh, basis. Victory points are tabulated during the game turn indication interface, and at the end of the game, victory is determined. Victory points are awarded according to the following schedule, basically for occupying hexes and um, destroying uh, enemy units. And then we have design credits, and then we have the first of two pages of designer notes and such. So that's pretty much what you get. It looks pretty simple. Looks like a move and shoot kind of a game. Look at the counters real quick. Already went over the nomenclature of and a uh, description of what the information means on them, but just to give you an idea, they're about average thickness, maybe on the thin side, uh, brown core, and they are glossy, but not too bad, kind of a kind of a gloss to a matte finish, can't really tell, I'm going to probably go matte finish, they just look uh, a little glossy in the light, but at the top we have what, German units, then Italian, and then the US units. So, like I say, you got your attack, defense, movement, uh, your artillery, and such are going to have their uh, barrage or whatever, and final protective fire, that type of thing. Um, so, anyway, they are double sided. And uh, pretty simple and standard looking. They look pretty nice for a 30 year, 30 plus year old game or 30 year old whatever it is. Now we'll take a look at the map real quickly. It's not a very big one. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. I can zoom in. Can't zoom out any further at the moment. The way I have this camera mounted. All right. This is your uh, the overview of the map itself with the town or city of Gila right here. And what do we have? We have charts and tables and tracks printed all over the uh, map uh, edges. Looks like they were face both way or face kind of the same for both players. Um, each player has uh, the charts and tables facing him, is what I'm trying to say. And we have some like naval gunfire, combat results, the terrain effects, and on this side we have the terrain key. You've got everything from clear, rough, city, roads, lakes, coastal, river, all sea, and then you've got trails, towns, airfields, supply, U.S. supply, and then Ford hexes. Just a little bit more detailed look at the map, I guess. We'll turn it right side up. Oh, excuse me. Um, even though it didn't show the actual... Oh well, yeah, it did. That was for City. If I just pay attention. Um, anyway, there's examples of your city, your rivers, your rough terrain, an airfield, major roads, 
the U.S. supply head. I guess they go all the way down the coastline. And I'm not sure what the yellow boundaries are, yellow borders, but uh, on the mega hexes, but I guess we'll find out when we read the rules. They must be starting areas maybe for German and Italian units. Yeah, that's my guess. Anyway, that's pretty much the game. Um, mine came in shrink wrap. Got mine for $10 on eBay. With shipping, it was about 15 16 something like that. So that's pretty much what you get. Oh, yes, can't forget the uh, all-important D6. So, anyway, until next time, that's a uh, look at the game uh, Gila Beachhead from 1983 by Jersey Devil Game Company. Uh, one of their Centurion game uh, lines, line of games. So, anyway, that's pretty much it, and we will see you later. Bye.